welcome in or welcome back. This is Sound Wisdom Tarot. I'm Shannon Rose Scott. And here I have a special holiday reading for you where we tune in to the energies of mothers who have passed on to the other side to give you a message this holiday season. Yes, a message from your mom. Let's get into it. Spirit guides, high divine, intergalactical beings and angel guides, please help me connect to the spirit guides of the mothers who have passed on to the other side, here to provide a message. My friends, they say that time heals all wounds, but we know, those of us who grieve, I mean, we know that's not exactly true. With time, thank you, Spirit. With time, you can get more, you know, used to the grief. But you don't have to expect yourself to heal from it, okay? You're allowed to grieve and to to grieve your whole life. That doesn't mean that you stay stuck in the grief. It means you honor the grief, right? It doesn't mean that you have to be stuck in extreme sadness all of the time, but you honor the sadness as it arises and you allow it to come and go. Ah, beautiful. Your mom is here to let you know that you have infinite potential, unlimited potential. Wow, and that there is a rainbow of hope coming your way. That's beautiful. That's from the Oracle deck, Signs of the Times. Let's pull an Oracle card from Sword of Light, as well as the Divine Energy Oracle, before we move to the Tarot, the Light Seer's Tarot. What else would your mom like to let you know at this time? At this time, your mom would like to let you know. Thank you, Spirit. Your mom would like to let you know that the angels of healing are with you. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I was just saying that you don't have to heal completely, right? You don't have to feel like that, you know, you've moved on from the grief. But there's so much healing here available to you right now. Your mom's like, a time of healing is about to bless your life. Except Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. And I think this is also your mom, not only Archangel Raphael, but your mom coming through here saying that she has an emerald green light that is surrounding you at this time. Yes, and that's a sign that healing is about to bless your life. Your mom is working on the other side to help enhance your strength to help bring you this rainbow of hope and that you have unlimited potential. Another card that came through is, wow, you have forgotten who you are, but you are a child of the divine, so take back your power. Wow. Your mom wants to remind you that right now, yes, through your grief, through the things that have gone on since they have passed, that you've forgotten who you are. And this is the time to take back your power because you are surrounded by the healing light, this emerald green, this beautiful emerald green light that's reminding you of your infinite power, infinite potential. Hope is on its way. What else, please? Oh, here we go. Wow, your mom wants you to nurture yourself first right now. Nurture yourself first. 
this is a sign that you've been like spending a bit too much time nurturing others. Nurture yourself first right now because hope is on its way. You've got infinite, unlimited potential. You deserve some nurturing right now so that you can tap in and refocus on getting your power back. You may have forgotten who you are, but spending some time like truly nurturing yourself, what nurtures you? That's what I'd like, that's what your mother would like you to, to focus on right now, uh, to remind yourself as to what actually nur nourishes you. Are you nourished by music? Are you nourished by taking walks in nature? Are you nourished by cooking? By reading? By taking baths? By dancing? By treating yourself to the small pleasures? What can you do today, today, to nourish yourself? Maybe it's even just taking your favorite tea or coffee or hot cocoa. And taking a moment to appreciate the taste, the smell. The feeling of warmth in your hands. Right now, your mom is reminding you to nurture yourself first. Okay. I'm also getting the message to, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. And P.S. The world needs more people like you. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I feel like your mom is a really kind soul, right? These are really positive, uplifting messages that your mom is here to provide. Let's keep going. Let's get to the tarot now. Three cards, please. From the spirit of your mom, what else does she wish to tell you today? So let's take these. We got four. I'll take four. Okay, wow. We have the chariot. We have two of swords. We have the high priestess. And we have the king of wands. So yes, your mom really wants you to move forward right now. Move forward on your path. Okay, the chariot doesn't go backwards. The chariot driver doesn't go side to side. The chariot moves forwards. And they take both sides of themselves with them. So they take the part of themselves that's happy and the part of themselves that's sad. So even though you may still feel unhealed, right? Even though you may still feel trapped in grief, your mom wants you to move forward anyway and take the grief with you, right? You don't have to pretend that you're not grieving. You don't have to pretend that you're not sad. You don't have to pretend that you don't feel weak. Okay, taking your power back does not mean that you ignore all parts of yourself. No, taking your power back, getting back in that driver's seat is like you're going to drive anyway and you're going to use both your pain and your power together.
And in fact, when you allow yourself to use both your pain and your power, that's when you truly have unlimited potential. The figure eight here, which represents infinity, includes naturally both the highs and the lows. And in fact, in order to have the highs, we actually need the lows. The lows give us the momentum to then lift us up. And no matter what, whenever there's an up, it naturally is going to lead to another low, which gives us the momentum to go back, the momentum <laughs> to go back up to a high. And that high again gives us that momentum to go back to the low. These highs and lows work together. The highs and the lows work together. We need both. This is what your mom is coming through strongly to remind you. To try not your best not to hold on to those highs and not to get trapped in the lows, but to let them take you on that loop of adventure of unlimited potential. Right? It's like we only get the rainbows with, with a mixture of rain and sun. Right? We need both. We need the light and the rain to have the rainbow. So yes, get back, take back your power here by merging these both parts of yourself equally. You've got some sort of choice to make right now with this Two of Swords cards showing up. Yes, you have a choice to make. Ah, and your mom is also here to remind you that you can't actually make this choice from your head. Okay, the Two of Swords card here is telling us to get out of our thinking mind. Our thinking mind gets in the way of us making so many decisions, so many, like your power, getting your power back lies in you nurturing yourself. You know what? There's some cards underneath here that I haven't even looked at yet. Let's see what else your mom has to say. I feel like it's in regards to, oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. <laughs> your mom. Okay. So your mom is here to remind you to address your addictions. Please don't get judgmental towards yourself about your addictions. Okay. We're all addicted to something, whether it's substances, whether it's coffee, caffeine, whether it's cheese, right? Cheese is super addictive. Whether it's addictive to your phone, to codependency to people, even to your grief. Right? Grief, anxiety can become an addiction too. We're all addicted to something. So it's not about judging ourselves for it. It's addressing them. Addressing them. Sometimes that maybe your addiction is overthinking. Right? It's like constantly thinking about this, this choice you have to make as well instead of just getting out there and doing it. Be true to yourself. Be true to yourself and become a clear channel. Now why I love these so much is because of the other cards that showed up here. You have High Priestess. Become a clear channel. You have to be true to yourself and the king of wands, right? The king of wands is so true to himself. He honors his heart's passions and he goes for them. He lets himself be unique and brave like the lion. And he becomes the master of his passion. He goes for what he actually wants in life. You've got unlimited 
potential. You have so much strength required to go for what you really want, to be true to yourself. But it's hard to be true to ourselves if we don't even know what it is we want, if we're not allowing ourselves to know. And the only way you can let yourself know is to address your addictions, okay? So that they're not getting in the way of your clear thinking. And to spend time tuning into yourself versus listening to these. The birds here also represent like other people trying to tell you what to do, trying to get in your head, right? You've got to turn inwards to yourself here and become a clear channel for your connection to spirit, right? Spirit is trying to come through to you here. They're trying to just like drop in to your crown chakra here, right? And give you all the guidance you need, but you've got to tune into it. You need to take a break from what other people are trying to tell you, from what your addictions are trying to tell you. And to get there, right, it, it is time to nurture yourself, right? To, in order to address your addictions, you also need to nurture yourself first. Because you, you can't just like, like you need to replace your addiction with something happier, right? With something healthier, with something else. You can't just um, like take away the thing you're addicted to and not replace it with something else. So what healthier addiction can you replace it with? Like a tiny example here. I've been like, I really love playing games on my phone and I wasted a lot of time playing games. Like, games that weren't really giving me anything back. And now I've replaced that with uh, learning a new language, right? Learning Spanish on Duolingo. And it, Duolingo feels like a game, right? Because it's full of all these like points and um, there's different quests they do, right? And so it, I, I still get to, you know, feed my addiction of playing games on my phone. And yet I'm also learning something now. So it, it no longer feels like a bad addiction, right? That's just a small example. There's lots of things we can do for that. When I used to be a cigarette smoker, right? I loved, you know, part, part of what I loved about it was going outside <laughs> and just getting a break from the people. And then when I quit smoking cigarettes at first, I wasn't giving myself that break to go outside or to get a break from my job or my or the people I was around. And I realized, oh, right, I still need to give myself permission to have that break. And so I would go outside then and take like healthy breaths in of fresh air. Go for a little walk. So you still need to nurture yourself and give as you address your addictions. And that's going to help you become truer and truer to yourself and give yourself this clear, clear channel. That's going to help you take your power back. These cards are like perfectly curated. Thank you to the mother energy coming through for this reading, giving you this message. I'm going to pull one more card that's going to tie it all together, but I just wanted to let you know how much it means to me that you're here tuning in. And if you would be willing to share in, a com in the comment section below how this reading has resonated for you, I would be deeply honored to read how. I also wanted to let you know that the soundtrack you're hearing is sounds that I created with the crystal bowls specifically for grief and I'll link this soundtrack as a separate video if you would like to use it on your own as a way to even nurture yourself perhaps right you might use it to meditate just to listen to allow the sounds to help soothe you at this time 
Let's pull one last card. I'm drawn to this deck. So here we go. Let's pull one more card from your mom to close this reading out. Dear Spirit of the Mother, please provide us with one more card. That's the one. Be decisive. Yes. Be decisive. Okay. Be decisive, not from your head, but from your intuition, your gut. Right? Drop the overthinking here. Listen to your gut. Take the reins of your chariot. Take your power back. Honoring you, being true to yourself. And get back on that horse. It's been an honor to tune into your energy. Thank you to the mother energy for coming through. Thank you to you for tuning in. May you be happy, may you be well, and may you be at peace.